Hello, welcome to Silla Vitero. So today we are going to take a look at what your person wants to say to you. All right, what they're not saying. So these are messages coming from the 5D energy. All right, so let's take a look. Welcome everyone. Welcome to Silla Vitero. All right, so what would this person like to say to my subscribers at this time? What is the message that needs to be heard and understood at this time? I love you with all my heart, but I'm afraid of letting you down. I have a cheating problem. Now, I don't feel like this is an energy of I cheat in terms of constantly with other people, although it may it may mean that. I just feel like this person keeps on lying to themselves, all right? This person keeps on being deceptive to themselves here. So someone here wants to let you know, I don't want to let us down. I really don't. <laughs> you know, uh, it's so it's so interesting, you know, with this energy, because I feel like someone here is really wanting to say the old person that the person that I used to be, I don't really desire to be that person with you. I don't desire to be unfaithful. I don't desire to be um, inconsistent and untrustworthy. I don't want to be that person. But sometimes I feel like I can become that person in a sense. It's like this person's trying to release their past energy and the person that they used to be. And again, you may not really, you may find it really hard to see it with this person because I feel like this person has such a great way of disguising their emotions, but they want to let you know that I do, I do love you. You know, I do. It has nothing to do with my love for you or the deep emotions I have for you. It has nothing to do with that. It has everything to do with me, my past, uh, my, uh, future that I'm so nervous about and how I don't want to hurt you. How I don't want to hurt you, although I know I may have hurt you before and hurt myself in the process, but I don't want to do it again here. So there's something about letting you down that's big on this person's mind and the current energy. Okay. And let's get a little bit more. What else needs to be heard? What else does my viewers need to know at this time here? What else does my viewers need to know and understand in the current energy from their person? I'm trying to sort out my feelings and make sense of all this. So give me a little bit of time to figure out a proper response. Give me some time to figure out where all these emotions are coming from. May I say someone here is falling? Falling with very deep, genuine feelings here. Okay. Now I feel, I don't know why, but someone here is wondering, are you still angry with me? Are you still upset with me? I didn't mean it, I'm hearing. I really did not mean it here. I didn't mean for things to turn out this way or for us to be at this point in life or in this journey. I just didn't mean for it to be like this. But give me some time. I'm still trying to figure some things out. And some of you may be like, you know, I've given you so much time. I've given you so much time. I'm getting someone like overseas or if they're not from overseas maybe they have family or maybe they're just from like a different they have a different background i'm getting here but again i'm sorry okay um i do feel like there is a request of time all right i can't promise anything i'm hearing but in the current energy i'm trying to figure out why i keep thinking about you why i keep dreaming about you there's been some heavy dreams with this person's energy uh for quite some days so for some of you if you've been picking up on this person's energy recently here it's you know the mask is falling off spiritually okay the mask is falling off and you're picking up on the fact that this person still feels you they're still connected to you there's still a there's still a very strong connection however there's some unresolved feelings oh I'm really hoping to see you again. I've never I've never given my heart before, but I'm willing to give us a try. What did you do? This person feels so different when it comes to you. They feel like it's it's like I feel like I'm transitioning into someone else and it scares me a little bit. 
There's adjustments that I know that I need to make that I'm not too sure I could make. But because I love you, I know that I have to give this a try. Doesn't mean that they will. Doesn't mean that they won't. It just means that I think about this a lot. Okay? And there's something about forgiveness I keep hearing. Like, forgive me. I'm also seeing like a white car speeding by here or... Um, Someone here, it's like they maybe they're able to like listen to music and also think about you. I hear driving or driver or drive a lot. I drive by uh, whatever the drive is, right? I go for drives and I think about you a lot here is what I'm getting. But I'm really hoping to see you again. Um, I do still watch you. I still look at our pictures. I still look at pictures of you. I still desire you. And uh, I just got a message of, I don't even look at pictures on my phone or online or anything. I look at pictures in my mind as if like this person has like this photographic memory and they're able to see photos and able to see you, us, right? It's like, I'm still holding on. I feel vulnerable around you. And at times it scares me. Please give me time. So there's something big about time. This is the second time this person has asked for some sort of time here. Also, you were too different. That's why I chose a different route. That's why I chose someone else that's similar to me. Please don't take it personal. Also, don't take my actions personal. Possibly for some of you, not everyone, this person decided to take another route or decided to connect with someone that was, again less intense okay like the energy wasn't as intense as ours so i decided to sort of sort of shift over there it was easier it was less it was less work for me okay but they're saying please give me time to trust our connection i need to trust the connection in order to come forward build and create something beautiful now i if some of you have been dreaming all right, there's something about dreaming about past energies or people from your past here. I feel like I wouldn't be surprised if you get some sort of message from this person or from this connection overall as well. So let's get a little bit more here when it comes to the current energy and the extended will move forward in terms of what this person wants to convey to you in the future like energy okay and also this person's intentions emotions all right and where this connection is ultimately going okay we'll take a look and take a ride with spirit on in the extended all right we'll ask some in-depth questions here in terms of when you do trust this connection what actions will you take okay and how, for, how can you respond to that also? Let's get some more with the current energy, please. Incomparable. This person hasn't been able to get you out of their mind or replace you. That's literally what's happening here. I have not been able to replace you here. There's something about making someone prove it here or um, allowing someone to prove that they are ready that's going to be very big or... Um, did you try to, I, I'm hearing I've given you so much time. Okay. Yeah. Some of you feel like this person hasn't proved that they really care, that they, that they really want to be here. There's something about this person not proving their, their love. Like, how could you really feel this way for me? And now we're here. How did we get here? So a lot of you are feeling like this person hasn't really proved that they love you. So there's this, I don't know if they do love me energy floating in the air or floating in this reading. Do they love me? Do they want me? Do they feel the connection? Do they? Do they? It's, it's like so many questions here and it's coming from a place of this person's silence and their lack of expression their lack of emotional expression here, self-pleasure. This person could have been and is, you know, very self-absorbed at this time, very focused on self here. And again, that's one of the reasons why we're not able to see again what this person's feeling, right? They're in their head, they're in their own space, right? But I feel like this person's covered up with emotions mentally. There's a lot of emotions flowing through this person at this time, 
All right. Uh, again, you know, we looked at the current, current energy. Okay. We looked at the current energy, trying to get a better understanding of what this person wants to say from the 5D here. Okay. So we'll jump in and we'll stay on the 5D frequency and see a little bit more moving forward and what you could expect. I love you. Have a beautiful one. And I will see you over at the extended. Um, we also have a confession here, uh, moving into the future. I'm suffering in silence, right? I don't have the courage to express my true feelings. I'm waiting for you to share your